Sukui Gar. Greetings, I am Tad Larkin, the Lore Master of Mandalore, and today I will be digging through the archives to elaborate on the Jedi Master Q Ron. Born on the Outer Rim world of Socorro sometime before the Clone Wars, Q Ron was a human male who was taken during infancy to train at the Jedi Temple on Coruscant under Grand Master Yoda. During the Clone Wars itself, Jedi Knight Q Ron worked with Jedi Master Mace Windu and Yoda to thwart a Separatist terrorist plot on Coruscant. It is unknown whether Ron personally led clone troops during the Clone Wars. However, what is known is that following the infamous execution of Order 66, Q Ron managed to survive, but was labeled a fugitive and was being hunted by the Empire. One of Ron's former Jedi compatriots, Jarek, turned his back on the Jedi Order and joined the ranks of the Imperial Inquisitors, Force-sensitive beings tasked with hunting down and eliminating the remaining Jedi for the Empire. To protect himself and other Jedi survivors, Ron joined an underground movement led by Halagad Venter to safely move and shelter fugitive Jedi. However, when Venter was captured by an Inquisitor and interrogated by Darth Vader, the movement was compromised, but Ron got away. Q Ron then sought the help of his old Jedi Master, and learned that Yoda had survived the Battle of Kashyyyk, and from there, he tracked him to the remote swamp world of Dagobah. During Ron's stay with Yoda, he furthered his training, and even became a Jedi Master. Also during this time, he learned from Yoda how to project his Force Ghost into the material world from the netherworld of the Force, as he himself had learned from Qui-Gon Jinn. The final thing that Yoda taught Ron was the existence of the Valley of the Jedi, where the spirits of thousands of Jedi were trapped in the remnants of Lord Khan's Thought Bomb, unleashed nearly a thousand years prior. Q Ron made it his personal mission to find the Valley of the Jedi and protect its whereabouts from those who would use its power for evil, and unfortunately for him, Inquisitor Jarek would eventually catch wind of his plight and seek the Valley for himself. After years of tireless searching yielding dead ends, Ron was about to give up his search, when he had a vision in the Force of a man stumbling upon the Valley of the Jedi in his travels, and he renewed his efforts. Tracking down Morgan Katarn to his farmstead on the Celestin Moon of Sulan, he learned about a prophecy surrounding the Valley of the Jedi. A night will come, a battle will be fought, and the prisoners shall go free. And before Katarn could reveal the exact location of the valley, Ron thought it was best if he didn't. Sensing that Morkin and his son Kyle possessed an extremely strong connection to the Force, Q Ron bade Morkin to take his lightsaber and gift it to his son, and reveal to him the valley's location when the time was right, and Morgan obliged. Though Morgan Katarn would eventually be killed by Jarek in an unrelated incident for his connections with the Rebel Alliance, he managed to hide both Ron's lightsaber and the holo recording addressed to Kyle in the family helper droid. While Kyle Katarn defected from the Empire shortly after graduating the Imperial Academy on Carida and helping the Rebel Alliance secure a part of the Death Star plans, Q Ron did his part to help the Rebel Alliance in his own capacity. Five years after the Battle of Yavin, and one year after the Battle of Endor, Ron was assisting a group of rebel, now New Republic, operatives on the Outer Rim world of Dorlo, before being intercepted by Jarek and his cadre of Dark Jedi, and being brought aboard his flagship. Lord Jarek sought the Valley of the Jedi for himself, to accrue immense power, and build his own galactic empire in the wake of the power vacuum left by Emperor Palpatine's death during the Battle of Endor. Ron and his compatriots were brought to Vengeance's Bridge, where they were killed in front of him one by one, leaving Ron for last, and after refusing to give the location of the Valley of the Jedi to Lord Jarek, he extracted the information himself from Ron through the Force. In a last act of desperation, Ron stole Epicanthic's Yoon's lightsaber from his belt and sprung at Jarek, only to be intercepted by Saris, Gork, Ma, and Bok, before Jarek incapacitated him with the Force and then beheaded him with his lightsaber, ending the life of the Jedi Master. 
However, Ron's story doesn't end here, as he would use what he learned from Yoda to project his Force ghost to Kyle Katarn, who at this point was searching for his father's killer. While Katarn was healing in a New Republic medical frigate after a run-in with the bounty hunter 8T88 on Nar Shaddaa, Ron appeared to him and told him about Jarek and the Valley of the Jedi, and advised that he return to his homestead on Sulon, where he would find a map to the valley and claim his destiny. Ron's spirit continued to guide Kyle Katarn in his plight to stop Jarek from reaching the valley, as well as chaperone him to stay on the path of the light side and the ways of the Jedi. However, despite his best efforts, Jarek still made it to the valley first. While Kyle Katarn and his partner, Jan Ors, made it to Rusan and were closing the gap on Jarek, Q Ron's spirit appeared to Epicanthic's Yoon, whom Kyle had spared the life of after their earlier duel on Sulon, and convinced Yoon to turn his back on the dark side and help Kyle. When Saris and Yoon captured Kyle Katarn, Saris attempted to kill the unconscious Katarn. However, Yoon stepped in and took the blow for him, sacrificing himself, with his last words demanding that Kyle be given a chance to defend himself. Jedi. He deserves a battle. <clears throat> As Katarn proceeded to kill both Saris and Bok with Yoon's lightsaber, he was spiraling on a path towards the dark side. And as he faced up against Jarek, now imbued with the power of the valley, the spirit of Q-Ron came to him again and helped him defeat Jarek without hatred, as a Jedi should. With Jarek dead, the lost Jedi souls of the valley were finally free, and to memorialize his posthumous mentor, Kyle Katarn carved two new statues for the Valley of the Jedi, one of Morgan Katarn and the other of Q. Ron. Kyle would later go on to honor his memory even further by joining Luke Skywalker's Jedi Praxium on Yavin 4 in 11 ABY and becoming a Jedi Master before the Yuzhan Vong War in 25 ABY. This transmission was suggested by David Miller. If you have any suggestions for future transmissions, don't be afraid to drop a comment. Special thanks to my patrons, Wildcat144, Andrew Rushing, The Grand Pope, Zexand, JTrips 1997 David Miller, AJ Can't Think of a Good Pun Right Now, Captain Chewbacca, and Dave the Grave. If you'd like to support this channel, please visit my Patreon to find out how. Link is in the description. In the meantime, keep your calm channels open for future transmissions, and don't forget to subscribe. Tad Larkin, out.